A little girl is just out of surgery tonight after a bullet flew into her home and hit her in the face. Her mother just sent this image of 11 year old Lenaria heading home from the hospital. This evening, police say they caught the man who shot her. That man was convicted of a felony just a few months ago, but he was not behind bars. Our David Schumann explains why. Shanidra Ross spent Wednesday in the hospital as her 11-year-old daughter, Lenaria Wilson, prepped for surgery. Lenaria was shot in the face just minutes into the new year while she was inside her bedroom in North Minneapolis. We spoke to her mother New Year's Day. I'm a little bit nervous about the surgery, um, but I'm excited because it's a bullet in there. I don't want them to leave that bullet in my baby face. Police said Wednesday that with the help of the community, they arrested a man for the shooting. This child was injured because of absolutely reckless, celebratory behavior. Drinking and shooting an AR-15 rifle into the ear. The man hasn't been charged, so we're not naming him. But court records show he was convicted last year of a felony assault. Instead of going to prison, though, court documents say he had, quote, proven himself to be amenable to probation. Two other felony charges, including illegal possession of a firearm, were also dropped as part of sentencing. This was done by a person who is a convicted felon, who should not even have a weapon in the first place. Chief Brian O'Hara says everyone should be outraged by this shooting of a child. It's a terrifying experience, even though she does live. Uh, and thank God she has. But still, like for the family to have to deal with the trauma of this. Um, children should be safe in their home, let alone in their bedrooms. Shanidra says she's happy an arrest was made and that it's the first step toward justice. David Schumann, WCCO News. Uh, Santee County prosecuted the suspect's previous case. They blame the Anoka County judge on that case who sentenced him to probation in July. The county of the attorney there told us tonight, quote, the court did not follow the recommendation of my office and had the presumptive prison sentence of 39 months been imposed, the defendant would still have been in prison this week.